name is Tiffany and I'm a dietitian and lactation counselor with the Hamilton County WIC program. The number one reason why moms feel like they need to supplement with formula is because they feel like they're not making enough breast milk. Today, I'd like to go over how your body produces breast milk. About halfway through your pregnancy, your body starts to make what's called colostrum. Colostrum is the first type of milk that you produce. It's very rich in nutrients and it has a ton of antibodies. So it's the perfect food for your newborn baby. Some women feel a little bit of leaking or may see a little bit of that milk being expressed in late pregnancy, but some women never have that feeling and both are normal. Once you've delivered your placenta, there's a shift in hormones in your body and your breasts are alerted to start to make your mature milk, so that more voluminous milk. Your mature milk, which we're more used to seeing, it's the more voluminous white milk, actually doesn't come in until around day three to five. But like I said, that colostrum you're making even during pregnancy is your baby's perfect first meal. Their tummies are just the size of a shooter marble when they're first born and can only hold a little bit. And so that colostrum that comes out in a small amount is just perfect for their baby bellies. Unfortunately, since colostrum does come out in such small amounts, a lot of women already feel like they're not producing milk for their baby and they supplement at a very early stage in their baby's life. When you supplement, your body sends out hormones to actually stop producing milk. So if you are already supplementing with formula on day one or day two because you don't realize how nutritious that colostrum is, you could really be impacting your milk supply. The very best way to build a good milk supply is to follow your baby's hunger and fullness cues. When your baby latches on, it sends a signal to make milk. So that signal is a hormone called prolactin and that helps your body make milk. And then there's another hormone involved called oxytocin, which then helps your body release the milk or have a letdown. So when you latch your baby on, you're actually signaling your body to make breast milk. When your mature milk first comes in, sometimes your body doesn't know how much to make for the baby. So it actually overproduces at first. Sometimes this can lead to engorgement, which is just when your breasts are very, very full of milk and they're uncomfortable. Um, sometimes it makes it a little bit tricky to latch the baby. If that's the case, then you do want to soften the tissue around your nipple by doing reverse pressure softening or by doing hand expression. Once it's soft, just latch the baby because the baby will drain the breast. And Latching the baby on hunger cues will ensure that your body starts to adjust to how much the baby actually needs. When you're feeling engorged, um, it does give you a little bit of confidence because you feel like you're making milk and you're able to produce that for the baby. And then usually once your body starts to adjust to how much the baby actually needs, that engorgement goes down and you don't have that feeling as often anymore of fullness. You do not need to feel full to feed your baby. Your breasts are not sacs that have to fill up with milk to, in order to be drained. They will constantly make milk, even if you just breastfed. For instance, say your baby latches on at noon, has a good feed, but then acts hungry again at 1.30. You don't have to wait for your breasts to feel full in order to feed them. If you latch the baby, your body sends out that prolactin and starts making more milk and gives that to the baby. So your baby actually initiates your supply. As your baby grows, so does your breast milk. So when your baby needs more fat, or your baby needs more protein, or your baby needs different antibodies, your body changes the composition of your breast milk and provides that to your baby. So it is constantly changing every feeding of every day, which is why it's so perfect for your baby. If you have any questions, or if you have a fear you're not making enough milk for your baby, please contact your local WIC office or your personal lactation counselor. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.